I thank you uh, all very much for joining. Uh, please, when we join, let's share, let's share and bring everybody on board. I think uh, we're very grateful that uh, everybody's following up. Thank you all so much for uh, your resilience and uh, resolve from Bazonians. God bless you all, and of course, uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Bring everybody on. Everybody should be on, like on and on. Um, let's um, get this very big uh, leak from a Tanganji post office, and so we. We would see further. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll get this. Uh, it's very urgent and very important, and so we want uh, everybody on board. And uh, once that is done, we will start. Uh, we should start this live show in the next couple of minutes, so, uh, you know, uh, we we happy that everybody everybody's following this show today, and that gives us the strength to, uh, you know, uh, continue in the most uh, endless form possible. So thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, keep the spirit, keep the faith. We're going to start in the next couple of minutes, as soon as we have uh, at least half a thousand people watching. And so that should be done in the next couple of minutes, say like uh, uh, three, four minutes or so. We're going to have everybody on. So thank you once more. Uh, keep it coming, keep it coming. We have this big document that has been this big telegram that has been leaked from a Tanganji Post, uh, uh, a Tanganji Post office. And we want to make it very clear because tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a very sad day for anybody who will go contrary to uh, this thing that we are going to say here today so we want to just inform uh, you know uh, everybody who is on ground zero and who will be in these particular places that I'm going to hit here uh, that anybody who would go uh, contrary to the aspirations of the Ambazonian people will have his or herself to blame uh, and of course um, it is very clear that a Tang and Jipo uh, would want to now be wondering how we got this information. Uh, this is a big, big leak from a Tanganyi Post uh, office, and uh, we, since it is happening tomorrow, we we said that no, it was important that we we have this um, impromptu live show. So please, anybody who is joining, we're going to read some names here and to read specific locations on. Uh, a couple of things that will happen on Grand Zero tomorrow, and we want all Southern Cameroonians to abstain from that particular event. You know, this event has not been made public, but uh, somebody from within a Tang and uh, office has leaked it to National Telegraph, and uh, the management of National Telegraph has also leaked it to me. So we are going to be broadcasting that in the next couple of minutes. So we implore you to share extensively. Let's get to everybody. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a do or die matter because uh, we already have the necessary, uh, you know, things allocated to take care of that particular issue or those particular issues. And Atanga and Paul would be very surprised uh, that we now have this information out there, although, you know, they wanted to make sure that the information remains secret. But uh, as usual, as usual, we will always have the information. Because that is our strength, and um, we want Atang and Jipo and the entire Yaoundé regime to know that uh, Ambazonia is no longer theirs, and that is why 
even inside the ministry of territorial administration somebody will still leak us information and i want to make a very clear point for those whose name i'll be reading here today who want to carry on an event in in uh, in uh, ambazonia tomorrow well you have to inform them if they are your brothers or you are related to them in any way uh let's be clear about this because you know a lot of people would think that we're just going to give a very uh, uh, uh straightforward order and to ensure that we warn before we act because uh, that is part of the geneva convention and uh, we want to be uh, uh you know it's part of the, the, the human rights that some of them would enjoy so uh, uh we, we want to be very certain about uh the things we we put out there and so uh this one is uh, one billion percent confirmed and anybody that will go contrary to it the person will have his or herself to blame uh, this message is going straight away to some deals because tomorrow is going to be a big event according to la republic in ambazonia and this event was they, they made it public to nobody no radio station no tv station but national telegraph has had that information that information has been leaked to us from yaounde and so we are going to ensure that we put this message out there so that anybody who want to think that they are going to ambazonia nico nicodemously or whatever they want to do to come and do their kind of crazy games in ambazonia we would have we would have we would have assured them that nothing is going to happen so this big leak this big document that has leaked from a tank and Jipo's office is a clear sign of a victory that we have as the people of ambazonia and it is your responsibility as people of ambazonia to continuously share this information with us from inside those ministries and i'm i'm grateful that you guys you trust some of us you give us this information because you are 100 percent sure that your identity remains protected and of course that is one thing i've pledged to all my followers to all our listeners to everybody who is on this platform that no matter what happens i'm going to die than that i sell information out or i give your name out and that is why uh this platform we have had uh you know the strongest and the most vital information from the time that the minister of defense wanted to visit to Kombe. Uh, it was leaked to us by, by somebody from the Ministry of Defense, and there is no way they're ever going to know that. I've already thought a lot of these our uh, people had to leak this information, and even if they are tracking you or they're tracking your phone or whatever, they are tapping your line, they will never know it's coming from you. Uh, we have all those procedures put in place, and all our 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 frontline leakers they know what exactly they know what exactly to do. So that is the strength of Ambazonia. And we want to say here today, ladies and gentlemen, that Atanganji Paul will know that he's finished. And let me let me start by uh, first and foremost uh, congratulating all our ground fighters, everybody who is putting you know his or her life down there uh, uh, on the line, taking the bullets. We salute your, patro your patriotism. And uh, let us remind you that all of us are feeling your pains, and we know exactly what you're going through and uh despite the you know kind of funny stuff going on social media i will tell you one thing today and of course we have almost 500 people watching this half a thousand and so we're going to uh start uh, uh advising our ground forces and the pope ambazonia to give them hope and make them remain resolute and let their resolve not be challenged by the trivialities that is going on on social media by the blame game let me tell us something that uh, it is a sign of victory and a lot of people would want to think that no uh because there's a lot going on on social media you want to assume that oh we are confused and this thing is failing this one is happening but let me tell you the irony of it all i want to tell you that this is one of the most peaceful revolutions in the world uh reason being that uh the southern cameroon's uh war of independence or the Southern Cameroon's independence movement is one of the few movements. In fact, I plan to say one of the few because it is the only movement that has happened in the time of this 21st or 22nd generation, if you want, the computer age generation. In the case of Eritrea and the Ethiopia or the 13 colonies of America against the British, or in the case of, uh, you know, all other countries that were fighting for independence, they had worse scenarios than this. 
they they had a lot of uh, you know backbiting fighting among themselves but it was not going on this way because they they didn't have the internet and so do not get worried about some of the people that the republic has infiltrated and they're trying to make mountains out of anhill each time there's a little misunderstanding amongst ambazonians why we keep calling people to book it is not a reason to make you lose hope without said i want to stay focused on this particular message today and to say that there is no way we will continuously play the blame game because as we are aware our people are dying every day on the ground and though we will try to put some people on track we must remain committed because this is one of the strongest things that we must know unity in purpose is very important and we understand that a lot of our compatriots might have been a little bit or little while disappointed with some of the you know the fighting that is ongoing on social media but that should not change our focus that should not make us derail from the essentials that we we fighting for as a matter of fact we understand that we are in a situation where the republic of cameroon is exploiting our differences to make huge gains out of it but what has become of the resolve of the ambazonian people one thing is certain even in the national team like you have seen other and you must have been listening to a lot of people who watch football coaches who coordinate teams from manchester united to real madrid to the then indomitable lions of cameroon that we all support it to the super eagles of nigeria to the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire, and you can name it all of us all of that the blues of france you know they we have had players fighting and quarreling and the coaches have tried to you know keep them in check i have been listening to a lot of you who called me a lot of you who have been doing audios to defend me and uh, i want to say thank you but i think that we have gone past the stage of audios back and forth i've had some activists who have come in box trying to insult me and all of those but i've said to myself i will not reply except otherwise because the strength of this movement is staying focused and that is why we want to continuously thank all ambazonians that have maintained a neutral position that have focused on seeing that they can promote and uh, sponsor and of course fund this revolution we have all seen uh the differences that we have had in the next last couple of days and how much it has caused a lot of rift and divide in our revolution and how the republic thinks that they can make gains out of it and we all see we've all seen how uh, uh, they might want to boast that they have organized uh, or launched campaigns in the southern and northern zones of the federal republic of ambazonia but let me say one thing and let me say it very clearly to those of you who want to pin on the campaign stuff to think that oh maybe the republic has succeeded i want to be very clear to you that uh the independence of ambazonia is not a function of whether or not uh, elections holds in southern cameroon let that particular fact be clear we might stop elections we might not stop elections but let it be in your mind that the elections holding in ambazonia does not cancel the fact that we are fighting for independence our people will not vote that is the first resistance and no matter what happens come rain come shine we the people of ambazonia we have separated mentally physically from the republic to cameroon you already see that everybody in ambazonia even the little child that you gave birth to yesterday knows how to sing the ambazonian glorious anthem and that is a show of responsibility it is a pattern that has given us the courage to live as a people the courage to understand our differences and despite the infighting we still stay strong and focused and restoration forces have not relented their effort in inflicting pains on the occupier and that is the strength of the revolution and let me tell you very clearly you have known just last last two days a lot of actions have been taking place on the ground and do not get confused about the other things you've seen in douala things will happen in douala but what happened in douala is nothing that has actually happened what has happened is just some kind of miscommunication and we are following up with a couple of friends yannick sikot who is also trying to investigate that story and we're going to make sure that we bring exactly what happened with uh, ekema patrick that was uh, that has been mistaken for an amber boy the soldiers they thought it came i had some boys they thought it was amber and stuff like that so we are still trying to look deep into that story so let's not get distracted now let's get to the point as we have said here that ambazonia remains one and indivisible and though we call leaders to book and though we have activists who will do audios to lie and stuff like that we still remain a people 
that are committed to their cause. And our one destination is Boya. Come rain, come shine. I'm optimistic. Two billion percent. We are going to get to Boya. Let me say this very clearly. Do not bother about the things you see on social media, about the querying and all of those. I am explaining to you all that the only reason why some of you feel this way is because our independence is happening at a time where we are the computer age, where everybody can go online and write everything and try to confuse the people. So you have to stay focused. Know you that the Eritrean war of independence or that same war that was fought with the Ethiopians and Eritrea finally separated was worse than this. They had, they had a lot of issues. The same thing in South Africa. But one thing remained very important about revolutions. Unity and strength. I'm going to say something before I get to the big leak. The communicator has leaked from Atanganji Ponji. Uh, Atanganji Paul. Now, I want you both to understand one thing. I will draw back our mind to this very important and crucial uh, message, which is the, 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 the siege of Yorktown. The siege of Yorktown is the final battle that the British surrendered to America. There is always a final battle. And I want to let you know that they might invade all our camps, destroy the sleeping equipment or materials or foodstuff of our fighters. But those boys will never give up because their resolve is based on the justice that they use in fighting. And let me tell all of us something. For one thing I know as Eric Cato is that until a lot of people would have come to understand and Ambazonia is already an independent country. And nobody can change that. Nobody can take that away from us. Let me explain why I tell you that Ambazonia is an independent country. You must have seen in the last couple of days that despite the quarreling and all of that that is going on on social media, restoration forces still find time to bring down bridges, to get some of these uh, criminals and hoodlums from Yaoundé who have come to organize an illegal campaign in our territory. They still have time to go there to Bojongo and other places to bring down some of these command and control posts put in place by Mr. Pobia. And today, and today or yesterday, Ambazonians in Yaoundé are in, precisely in the Ministry of uh, the Territorial Administration where Atang and Jipor think that he's the boss. They have leaked a very important information to us, to me. That is to show you how determined our people are and the republic things are similar but when we have this kind of information he only sends us one message i sleep in my bed and i say thank you jesus because truly you know your people are fighting are fighting a just cause now let me get to the crux of the matter before i come to other issues i will talk about the battle of um of uh, the siege of yorktown that was the final battle in the american war of independence but i want to go first to the crux of the matter because i want this show to be very brief i want this show to be very brief so as you are all aware a very important source from the ministry of territorial administration in which atanga Jipo is boss leaked this very important document to me and uh, it's a telegram that was sent by text messages to some people the breaking news is that everything to me was not told no journalist in cameroon nobody was told because they, they know that uh, they know that we are strong and when we get that information we're going to disrupt things now this is the big news do you know that they are installing the geos tomorrow new geos that have been appointed to ambazonia they will be installed tomorrow in their various subdivisions or what we call local government areas in our various counties now i want to thank our person in the ministry of uh, territorial administration that get this information to us now it is now clear to me that La Republic du Cameroon is finished. They now hide the installation of Jews. Let me tell those Jews something who want to dare to come to Ambazonia tomorrow. This is the big leak. Now they thought that we will not know that they will be installed. So they want to come and do it and then they will post pictures on social media and to show how they have installed their Jews successfully. But no, it will not happen when Eric Tato is still alive. It will not happen when the Pope Ambazonia are on this platform. Now we want to be very clear to Yaoundé. Let me start by going to uh, uh, this man, uh, Umde, Umde Joseph, the uh, SGO for money, and my good friend who will be going to Tinto Upper Bayan. But that's not even my problem. Let me tell you the biggest issue that we have now. This is what we have. For those who don't know, I want to read some few names, some specific names, and pass it clear 
we are we are going to pass it over there to them for the sake of peace and for their safety because we have a major problem in this particular communique and what is the problem let me go to the problem let me get to the problem you know they sacked some anglophone duos and appointed some and tomorrow tuesday is the installation of these new duos and the government or the republic of cameroon was doing it nicodemoscally i don't know how i want to call it they were doing it in a in a very like surreptitiously like they don't want anybody you know why do something like you are dodging that is to show you the strength of Amazonia. To tell that we have won already. And these deals, let me read their names. Those who will be want to go for the installation. You know, they have sat these deals. And normally in Commander Man, like they call it, they would expect that some other deals will have to come back. Those deals that have been sacked, they must come and hand over power. So there will be exchange of office. But unfortunately for them, this information has been leaked because they sent it through SMSs to all the deals and somebody in the ministry of territorial administration leaked this, leaked this information to us. Now, let me be clear to the Jews. I will read their names here. If, if you know that any of these Jews or any of these Jews, if they are related to you, please, let it be clear that there is no space for them in Amazonia. I want to be clear about it. Just a minute. Let me get the names. <laughs> Tanga Njipo. Tanga Njipo is a Finnish man. I'll get the names. Excellent. Okay. So, all these Jews that were sacked on the 20th of September, that's this month, we published on National Telegraph official a decree from President Bia on the 19th that was signed that the Jews, some Jews were sacked. And they now, they sign a decree to appoint Jews. But during installation, they send the SMSs. And then they leaked it to us. Now, let me get this point very clearly. I will read the duo that will need to go and take office. And I will read the duo that will need to go and hand over office. And I have one big problem here. One big promise. I don't care much about the Jews. Who will be going to take office? I care about the Jews who will be going to give office. It, because those that will be going to take office, they will still be with us and we know how to get them. But those that will be going to give office, they want to go and empower the process. So we will start with them. So if your brother has been sacked as a Jew and they are calling him to go and hand over, let me tell you something. Send this message clearly to that person that Eric Tato is said, Makwo, in Tinto. Tinto, let me start with Manu. Let me start with Manu. Let me start with Manu. Now, my friend, he used, he used to be second assistant SGO for Manu. Now, he will be going, of course, to Tinto to replace our other brother from Jan that was sacked. Now, I want this message to go to the Jan people that tell the former Joe of Tinto, tell the Joe of Tinto, the former Joe that has been sacked, let me read his name. Lokumbe Nafongo Vincent. He has been sacked as Joe for Tinto. And tomorrow, they will expect you to go to Manu, to Tinto, to go and hand over power to, uh, 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 this is my other friend, um, Elive Motombi Soli Jr., formerly second assistant senior divisional officer for Manu. Let me be clear to you, Mr. Lof uh, Lofongo, uh, 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 Nafongo Vincent. My, my, my problem here is you. It's not, even, it's not even a living. If you go to Tinto to hand over that power, you will be garried immediately. You will not even reach Tinto. You will be garried. So, any Joe that will be going to hand power should go and try. What is your game? They have sacked you and they want you to go and, to go and legitimize their, their, their rigging system. So, no Joe will go to Tinto for any handover. Any handover. If the Joe, listen, you will see videos tomorrow. If the, any Joe will not say get canas. We go to Tinto for go hand power mushing. That is my county. And that is my local government area. If you go to Tinto, it, it, that they have already taken care of that grandstand. Go and put the wear military there. But that installation will not hold. If you go, the installation, listen, the installation will hold. But the, any Joe who will be going to hand power, the Joe will see what will happen. This one is a promise. That's number one. Let me start here. 
Lufungo Vincent, of course, I already mentioned your name. He, he, you, you, you would want to know that he, he, the, 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 the Joe, the Joe for Akko, Motia Daniel Jone, that was also sacked and replaced by uh, Mbino Abraham. You boys should tell Mr. Daniel Jone Motia that for him to be on the safe side, you have no advantage going to give power to a government that has sacked you. And so we want to use you as an example of the Gary process because you want to go and empower the hidden machinery. So we are telling you the Jews that have been sacked. Listen to the name. Call them if they are your brothers. Ako is a subdivision in, in, in Dogutunja. Uh, no, in Donga Mantum division. It's a local government area, Donga Mantum County. And the duo is Motia Daniel Jone, who was sacked and replaced by Mbino Abraham, who was formerly first assistant senior division officer from Donga Mantum. So tell Jone, and that Jone is the major problem. If he goes there, he'll be garried. Now, I've already talked about Lukumbe Nafongo Benson, who has been sacked as Joe for Upper Bayan and replaced by Lebe Motombi Soli Jr. The installation is tomorrow. Tell them not to go to Upper Bayan. Tell them that they cannot go there. Okay. Now, the Joe from Ginicom in Boyo Division of the Northwest Region, Are Achare Abane, Obena. Now, you now you have been sacked and then you are replaced by Akon, uh, Akonjo uh, Denis Mbuno, formerly of the office of the Northwest Governor. Now, it is simple. You, it is clear that tell this our brother, Are Achare, that he should not, by any means, go to, to, to Southern Cameroon for any hand of our power. I'm making myself very clear here. He should not dare to go there. I move over. I come to Ebai Wilson, Ebi, Joe for Jikome, by the way, in Jan County, in the Southwest region, was dismissed in favor of Tony Pai, judges, formerly third assistant general division officer for Meme. Tell this our brother, this Ebai Wilson, Ebi, that he should not go in to Indian because he can how will you come back? Now you see that they have taken Joes. They took Joes by helicopters to go and leave them. They left some in womb. People are walking elsewhere, they're leaving them in womb, they're leaving Joes in different places. It's a clear sign that Ambazuna is ungovernable. Then this is the, the, the this is the, 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 the saddest case. The saddest amongst the cases. The Joe for Allah in the BLM. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hamby Isaac. You, are, you have been sad, and now Fabian Carr will go to replace you. Mr. Hamby, let me be clear to you. Phil Marshall will give you a bit of his baby. You will kiss Phil Marshall's baby. So, you have the right to go there, and when you go there, you meet Phil Marshall, you will discuss in Gary terms. Now, the, 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 the geo for Batibo is already there, so we don't bother about him, but we know what to do. And the one that we're going to take over from the Joe Messager, I think that I have read these names very clearly. And that is the big leak. And people should know that Atanganji Paul, through his SGOs, are, they are planning to bring new criminals into our counties. And that is why we are doing this very clear. Let them know that the information has been leaked, that they are doing installation of geos tomorrow. And any geo whose name has been read here, if you go there, you have yourself to blame. Without saying, let's get to other issues. You know, fellow Ambazonians, there has been a lot of, you know, conflict, a lot of querying, a lot of fighting. I have listened to a lot of those audios. Some people insulting us, others doing this and stuff like that. Yes, sometimes we're very hard on our videos, which to me is legit because depending on the attitude of some people, we have to come out strongly to condemn some of these issues. However, let me be clear that I have listened to some of those audios on social media. And all those audios coming from some of these activists who are supposed to be defending the truth, but who have refused to speak the truth. And I've said to myself that it is only going to be a pure waste of time because when you come and reply to them again, like you want to do like today, because it's not something necessary. It's just something that people do not make a point, but they simply picked out some few points from what you said. And they start making, you know, insulting you based on the fact that they say you insulted them, but they don't have any defense for why they think they should not be insulted. However, let me be clear here that we are going to continuously keep everybody on check, but we will not always come when we have important things to say to try to cohort the message with, uh, you know, kind of back and replying and all of those things. 
Let me be clear to you that the people of Ambazonia are already united. And the activists know exactly what to do. And the activists might have their misunderstandings. And they might query among themselves. And a lot of things might go wrong. But one thing remain very clear is that we all want to pose a threat to the Republic of Cameroon. So, given all of this, and hoping that someday we will all see the truth and understand that people who try to derail the revolution should be called to order, then we would have succeeded in installing that in installing that particular uh, faith and you know, determination in the mind of our people. Let me be clear to you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow ambassadors, that our resolve remains in the actions that we see on the ground. Our resolve remains in our commitment to probably put all of our people in check. Fellow Ambazonians, ladies and gentlemen, we want to stay on the approach that will give us liberation in the shortest time possible. And we understand that no matter what we do, we have to keep on preaching those strategies that keep, that those strategies that keep our revolution on track. And we have said it severally and we pray and we pray endlessly for our people to begin to adopt those right strategies. Now, I want to appeal to our consciences about this very crucial thing that holds this revolution. Two days ago, I was at a nightclub here in, here in the United States, uh, somewhere in, in Washington, D.C. The other day, I was somewhere in, in, in Maryland where I met some Cameroonian friends. Even yesterday, I came to from somewhere, seeing a nightclub, I don't want to mention any names here, where I met a, a lot of the Cameroonian population. And when I went there, I grabbed a bottle of large Heineken. It sold at $10. Large Heineken is sold at $10. This is what I want to say. And one of my friends who knew me back way back came and gave me another bottle of Heineken. And one of the first times I took a drink from somebody. And I took the drink and I, I was extremely very glad. Now, this is, this is the point. I, it's $10 for a bottle of Heineken in those, in those, in those, in those nightclubs. Ten dollars, and I look at it and I said, Ambas I saw Ambazonians enjoying themselves, which is good. Sometimes you have to enjoy yourself to put out the stress that this country gives. You have to put out the stress that you have from back home. You are yes, you are right to enjoy, although we are at war, but you still have the right to, to catch up a couple of things. But this is what I want to say, ladies and gentlemen. You buy a drink for ten dollars and buy two, three, ten bottles. You, some of you buy, you know, uh, some good wine and some kind of, you know, champagne and, you know, whiskey. More, very much expensive than we want to expect. But I ask you that what is your contribution in this movement? Can we, can we, can we try to redirect our money to even a $10? I'm begging you that look for a means to look for a means and ensure that you make a contribution to this movement. The only way you can assist brothers and sisters of the revolution is to dip your hands into your pockets and then put out this money. Get this $10 out there and put it somewhere for our people to use in achieving these goals. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, we must make sure that our contributions are not undermined. Our people are suffering, others are dying, and of course, there is no way we can continuously sit and watch. You must take the responsibility. You must decide. Now it is now or never. Your contribution, your $10, your $5. Let me say something. We are working hard behind the scenes, especially the people of Ekona, the, count, the Fako County, where that is the biggest camp that has been so much destroyed. I feel so bad each time I talk to those boys. I feel so bad for Fako County. And I think that Every Ambazonian should reserve a $10, a $50, $100 to ensure that we put all of these things out there. We put our contributions and furnish our, fight, our fighters and make sure that everybody sees a need to contribute. Now, I want to continuously say this, and I will not miss my word in any, any live show that I come out. Do not, do not contribute your money to any group, any group. We can do what we call uh, 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 contributions by, by chain. Now, I come from Manu, from Manu County. My wife is Indian. My best friend is Kupe Manunguba. My other best friend is uh, 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 Fako. So you have, then your wife's sister can be married to Meza. So you use all these links. And this other person may be from Momo. 
use all these links and then you know you donate to these counties so we 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 need some money we need some money the people of paco we as ambassador we need some money to reinstate the paco camp and this base is we have to do it it's a relief it's a relief it's a relief project to ensure that listen it is our right to say these things and for our people to understand that the fact that I say these things about camps on social media, on Facebook, it means that it's, it's, it's internationally accepted. And so you only have to do your own part by contributing, by ensuring that everybody gets out there to contribute. We will hope. I was expecting to get the Paco people, but this show is an impromptu based on this Antang uh, uh, and Jipor big list. Let me, be, let me be clear to you that come rain, come shine, you would only be remembered, even in your conscience, by the contribution that you make. Let it be clear to you, ladies and gentlemen, that it will be necessary for you to contribute and ensure that you write your names in the books of those contributions. Now, how do you contribute and keep records? I want to advise on this. When you contribute, make sure that you the, 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 the people receiving that money cannot put your database outside, but they'll give a considerable kind of, uh, you know, statements on those contributions but let everybody who is contributing keep receipts and proofs of contributions if you have been contributing without proof keep the proof because tomorrow that is your visa into ambazonia a time will come when those who will not be contributing will not be able to get into ambazonia like the forces are crying look at the forces in menchum look at how they are crying that they are not drugs those are things we have we have, we have been singing here for a very long time so ladies and gentlemen fellow ambazonians it is your responsibility to ensure that you contribute enormously to your counties. You will not have only one county. I have like five or six counties that I must contribute. But by virtue of the fact that I'm an activist and I speak for all the 13 counties, I will contribute equally to all the 13 counties. And we're hoping and looking forward to seeing that the people of Paco would bring out their county stuff and bring out their county account because that is where I want to start contributing. That is where we must all start contributing because that group of people in the corner who have put their lives down for us. They must be treated well. And of course, Paco County is going to give an account soon. We want to take time to ensure that they have a cash app, they have everything ready. And during that show, I know a lot of people who want to want to watch the show now and later on, I mean, when the live show for conditions will come. When you're watching that show, even if you're watching when the show has passed live, donate your money to the account that will be given and write the donation that you have donated this to this account. Make it as a comment. And of course, Thank you so much, Ernest. Already pledging $50. Let me see people who can pledge to see how much they will give the FACO people. So that during, during, your, during, your, during your, uh, 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 your activities or our former, our subsequent live shows, when we introduce the FACO account, everybody there who, are, who has pledged to ensure that they contribute. Because that is, that is the only way we can succeed. You know, our FACO people need our help. And this money is going to FACO. And it's going to empower those guys who defend our, our land. I'm thinking about all of you guys out there. And we ensure that no matter what happens, Paco people will be proud of us. These 13 counties will have their independent treasuries. And everybody will be contributing directly to that treasury and not giving money to a particular group. Thank you very much, my brother, uh, Manu Oye. Uh, no, you, you also pledging $50. Somebody's pledging 100 uh, euro. That is Ernest Asoba. From, uh, it's, a Paco, it's my Paco friend from London. Thank you, everybody. I see people pledging what they're going to contribute because that is the spirit. And when you watch the shows, you ensure that you you thank you so much for donating 20 euros. So I think the FACO people should see how much people want to contribute. Because if we thank you so much, Otto, because if we have people, you're not giving your money to a group, you're giving your money to a county. So if you have people, even when you watch the live show, you watch it when the show has passed, go to the cash app, to their cash app, then you you make that contribution. And the Fakopo will come and give a statement. Thank you so much, uh, 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 Lekon. That is that is a spirit that we should have because this movement is only going to be prosecuted by money. And we must stay. We we have enough money to take care of this fight till the end. So everybody should pledge. Let's see how much you want to contribute. Let's know who is contributing what and let the Fakopo people see and put out. You know, I want I, I want to say something, ladies and gentlemen. In the live show that we'll do. To raise money for the FACO people, anybody will be watching me later. I have a target of fifty thousand dollars to give the FACO people, and that is what we should do for every county. I have a target of fifty thousand dollars to give the FACO people. 
and so we want on a live show when you see people making those contributions if we have for example we have sometimes have twenty thousand plus views you have everybody contributing in the twenty thousand people let's go to like even ten dollars we'll have more than that but the poll can be one thousand dollar one hundred uh, euros like we are seeing here so please i want you people to know that i have not had the account yet the faculty party putting the account together we must reinstate this camp in a corner the boys are crying every day and want to beg that I, we have had a meet, meeting with the FACO people and we have discussed enormously on how they are going to persecute their account. We want to start with FACO because that is the crux of our revolution. That is our, our, our chain of command. And so we respect the FACO people and, you know, well, that's fine. We, we understand a lot of uh, people have their own opinions, but that's okay. But what we're saying is that everybody who will come online next time should you make sure that, please, you contribute. I see, if I put what I've already seen as pledges here, it's already more than $2,000 or 2,000 euros. No, the account is not available now, but the FACO people will have those the account ready by my next live show. And we're going to put it there. Thank you so much. Somebody is contributing 100 euros for Meme, 100 for Lebiale, 100 for FACO. That is the spirit. And that is exactly what we're supposed to do. People are supposed to contribute to independent counties. And you do it with a lot of joy because that is what you owe. That's the responsibility that you owe the people. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you now because the big news has already been passed. For those who just joined now, the big leak is in the video. You can go back and watch to get all the details. In the meantime, you, if you want to follow the news full time on uh, uh, as a write-up, you go to National Telegram maybe an hour or two after this. We are going to put that news out on National Telegram so that everybody is going to read it. God bless you and thank you so much. Uh, my brother uh, Ochemba, nursing from Los Angeles, I know you're always going to support. And that is the spirit all of us are supposed to have. Thank you once more, fellow compatriots. I'm going to leave you, but prepare your mind that in our next live show, we would have introduced the account for FACO, and we start contributing either from FACO, from Manu, or the BLM, or Kupe Maningoba, or any, or Momo. So any county that is ready with your account, Meza, Momo, and all of those, give us, we'll launch it here, and we'll ask for to contribute, and you come on to give statements, and make sure that the people are sure that their money has been put here and their money is still available. And there's another sad news from Bank of America. Something happened with some of our money that some of the leaders collected. But I don't want to say that here. It's just unfortunate, but we thank God that we have all realized that we need to fight according to our counties and fight for the general interest of Amazonia. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.